Hi everybody, this is Lee of CJ and Drill, and today's video is a cool tool video. That's right, cool tools are back. And today's cool tool is the Guided Field Sharpener. Now this is not a sponsored video, but WorkSharp did provide this Guided Field Sharpener. And as always, I'll place a link in the description below to the tool so you can check it out for yourself. Now this is what makes this tool pretty cool. It's portable. You can easily carry this thing in your pants pocket or a shirt pocket. If you fish or you hunt or you just camp, having a portable sharpener, well, that's just pretty smart. Now it's got a number of um, sharpening surfaces uh, right here. This is a diamond abrasive surface. It's coarse. Flip it over, you've got a fine diamond abrasive surface. And then if you look right here, what this is, this is a ceramic abrasive rod. And we have a smaller ceramic abrasive rod here. Now I'm going to flip it over to the front because I want you to see where you can make adjustments to that ceramic rod. They have fine, there's coarse, and all you have to do is turn the dial. Turn the dial to coarse, and then the rod itself as well, it's more abrasive. And then you can turn it again to F, and you've dialed into fine. Now this right here, this looks like a J, but actually it's for fish hooks. So yeah, you can sharpen a fish hook right here on this ceramic rod. Now, the other thing I want to show you is the built-in knife guides right here. That's at a 20 uh, degree pitch, and we've got one on the other side as well. Makes it easy for you to keep that tool in line, and then of course there's a leather strop. Now the diamond plates are removable. They're just held in with a magnet. So if you notice, there's a broadhead wrench right there, so if you hunt and you want to sharpen your, you know, your arrowheads, you can do that as well. I'm going to put this back, slide that in the place, flip it over, and this side removes as well. And here we have a little cavity. We can pull this out. These are actually the directions, uh, you know, that tell you a few features with the tool. The other thing is, it's a nice size cavity here. You can put a little uh, fire starter in there if you'd like, or a little tinder, um, or anything that you'd like to hide, maybe even some spare change. The plates are just held on with a magnet, so they're easy to replace and easy to clean. So why don't we put this to the test? Let's get started. So what I have here is I have three different kinds of knives. I have a kitchen knife, a little tiny pocket knife, and then of course a knife with serrations. So I want to show you just how dull these knives are. So I have a piece of paper here to demonstrate really just how dull the knives are. As you can see, that's not cutting anything. Let's try the little knife. The little knife is a little better. Yeah, it could stand to be sharpened. So what we're going to do is we'll sharpen all three. So I've got a kitchen knife here, so let's put it to the test. Now I'm going to take my knife and sharp edge out, okay, pointing this way. I'm going to rest it right there on that guide, which is set at 20 degrees. And then what I'm going to do is slowly move the knife down. And then I'm going to come back on the other side. Now a couple ways you can do this. Let's get started here. And let me just make my first stroke. There we go. I'm going to go five. what I want to do is I want to come back the other way and I want to do five strokes. I've got my knife set on my guide with the blade toward me and now I'm just going to move forward. Now you can alternate. You can go one here and then back one, one, and back one. You can alternate or you can do five on one side, five on the other, and then you flip it over to the fine side and you repeat the process. You set your blade right there on the guide and then you come back. 
Then you're going to want to use your leather strop. You're going to move it with the sharp side towards you in a way. Okay, so three, four, five, and I'm going to come. So that's today's cool tool. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.